Europe survived a Sunday scare to regain the Ryder Cup, holding off a late US fightback to win 16.5 to 11.5 in Rome. Having suffered a record 19-9 defeat at Whistling Straits in 2021, the hosts made a ferocious start at Marco Simone Golf Club and maintained pace to take a commanding 10.5 to 5.5 point lead into the final day of singles matches. Yet, after moving to within half a point of the 14.5 winning threshold inside the opening six games, a nail-biting wait ensued as the visitors accumulated a flurry of wins to keep their dream of a first away triumph in 30 years alive. Europe's rising anxiety was finally quelled when England's Tommy Fleetwood, facing Ricky Fowler in the penultimate match, struck a sensational tee shot to help take the 16th hole, guaranteeing at least a tie in their singles match and, consequently, the Ryder Cup. The confirmation sparked euphoric scenes among Team Europe and tears for Captain Luke Donald. It has been a long process and an amazing journey, an emotional Donald said in a TV interview. It has been stressful. USA put up a fight today, they really did, so hats off to them. But I am so proud of my 12 guys, they formed a bond from day one, they gave me everything. This is why the Ryder Cup is so special to me and the guys. We play for each other, we will share those memories forever. There was a brief interlude as the closing matches finished, crowds flooding onto the course to surround the 18th green as Republic of Ireland's Shane Lowry played out what will undoubtedly be the most enjoyable lost hole of his career to tie with Jordan Spieth. The last two hours were the most stressful of my life, I could see it wasn't going well for us, Lowry said in a TV interview. I'm so proud of my team, it's been the greatest week of my life. The defeat for US captain Zach Johnson's side prolongs the country's miserable record on European soil. Having not won away since 1993, the barren run will have ticked over to a minimum of 34 years when the tournament returns to Europe at Adore Manor, Ireland in 2027. Johnson praised his team before taking responsibility for getting outplayed by the hosts. We showed grit, we showed heart and then it got interesting there, the 47-year-old said. It's not them. It's on me. I maybe made some poor decisions. I'll reflect at some point, but it's not about those 12 guys, I'm grateful for each and every one of them. Team USA will have the chance to secure a three-peat on home turf when the 45th Ryder Cup tees off at Bethpage Black, New York in 2025. For Europe, the victory seals a dream double after its women's team completed a dramatic comeback to retain the Solheim Cup in Spain last week.